Hi, I'm Ken, and I'm here to introduce you to my Ewok Battle Wagon. This is the creme de la creme of my collection, and so we're doing a video to highlight its features and its impeccable quality. So this is probably the most it's been played with in its entire life since I bought this back in 1984, I believe it is. So what's that, 38 years ago? So it's been sitting around in my attic slash closet slash boxes for 38 years, well, give or take. And um, it's in fantastic condition. And I just wanted to show it in a video to show how really neat it is. So let's look at the wagon itself. As when we first start, let's look at the wagon itself and its features and how nice a condition it is. Um, it's got the, this little carrying case here for the Ewoks to capture people in. And I got a couple of figures here to, you can see how the size, figures sold separately by the way, how they can fit inside there. Then the Ewoks carry the person on their shoulders, I guess. And carrying along, I guess you can picture C-3PO in there when they captured him. I don't know. Your imagination can run wild. But um, this is all complete. And what I wanted to point out on this is um, I could really see how this was played with. It, these little plastic hinges would all be cracked. But every single hinge on this one is perfect. I mean... It had been bent once and never played with. Bent to be put together, and that was it. So there's no breaks. It's in brand new condition. And what's really kind of neat about this cage is on the back, when the Ewoks then bring him in, they can winch him up onto the, the uh, vehicle by putting the little hook on it and then just winching him on up, and then they can haul him away. So there's, there's the little captive guy with the Ewok technology winch right there, as you can see. And let's, let's look at the wagon now. You can see it's ready for battle, thus the battle wagon, Ewok battle wagon. And it's got so many features, you can't even believe it. Let's start out with some on top here first. It's got a drum. So they, you can like, you can hear him coming from way off. It's got this cockpit, I guess you'd call it, with this made out of some kind of weird skull. I don't know, from whatever, what, what planet were the Ewoks from? Tatooine? Oh, I don't know, I forget. <laughs> Ewok planet, Endor. Oh, okay. Endor. And then, then I already showed how the, the basket winch works. It's got the strings. Plus, I wanted to point out of the strings. The strings are flawless. These look like they were just put on there yesterday. And so you'd think if it was, if it was played with, these strings would all be frayed and everything. These are all, they're perfect. And so, and then there's another winch on the top too, I wanted to point out. There's the winch for this cage thingy. And then there's the winch for the the landing ramp and you can crank that down and I guess that's all the further it goes down and then you can roll up to something and then you can attack I guess but then there's another string right here on the top where the battering ram which doesn't work so good I guess you gotta play it this is the most playing it's had I think in its life but uh, since I put it together and so this rams it and then they attack via this so um it's got like fred flintstone type wheels which um at least the ewoks had the wheel invented by this time barely they're kind of out around and need some kind of a bump, bumpy road even though it's okay but it's got a little portholes here in this bottom where the where the Ewoks Fred Flintstone the the whole contraption along and then I guess they sit in these holes and push it and that's how it goes 
but then there's the ladder to get up top and what other features oh and these things these come off these and make a fort i was noticing so you clip these together like thus i'm not going to do it but you clip them together and you can make an ewok fort with these side panels or you can just put them on there to i'm sure that's really going to stop the stormtrooper blasters these little wooden simulated wooden walls and um, so that's basically the Ewok battle wagon if you didn't know all the features and such and I wanted to make sure that you saw how incredible condition this is it's never been played with it's just when I bought it back in 1984 did I say um I just assembled it put it, saw how cool it was put it back in the box it's been stored ever since so let's look at the box. The box is kind of rough, but still it's pretty good. I mean, it's all there, but it's kind of got wrinkles on the tops. And this corner's kind of messed up a little bit. And it's got some tape on it. And I really think that's the original tape. That's how it was closed. And you can see the inside condition all the flaps are there on the bottom it has a like a little tape thing which i think is original pretty sure it's got some kind of there's proof of purchase right there it hasn't even been cut off Poop. and it's a star wars power of the force of course this was not in any movies so i guess it uh, can't be return of the jedi or whatever because it was power of the force and here's what's really cool on the back is they got all the features shown, which some of these features, pretty fantastic. Pretty fant, it's got, oh, they, they force stormtroopers to push the thing around. So it's pretty interesting. Anyway, so there you get to see all that. And anyway, the box is in pretty good shape. It's... You know, it was a big box, so it kind of got smushed around. Here's one of the amazing parts. Still got the price tag on it. And its original price was $19.99 back in the 80s. And it was on sale for $8.99. But I'm hoping it's going to go for a little more than that. So, okay, let's, we have instructions that came with it. There is instructions included. And they really do care about the quality. So it gives you an address here if you want to ever contact Kenner. I'm sure that P.O. box is long since gone. Oh, it's not even, it's a, it's a building. Anyway, the, here's how you can put your battle wagon together. And how everything works. And so your detailed instructions. As you can tell, there's not a lot of, parts oh yeah here's 1984 right at the bottom of that pretty cool here's one of the cool things comes with says right on your special star wars planetary map inside collect all three well you get one the planetary map and the, your planetary maps are the planet of tatooine the death stars is that a planet and Endor, the Sanctuary Moon. So I'm assuming this is Endor. Let's look at it and see. Ooh, you can join a fan club right there. And, oh, yep, Endor, the Sanctuary Moon. So if it was a moon, is it really a planetary map? Technically, I would say no. But, I guess, let's make it simple. Planetary map, Endor. The sanctuary moon it's not really a map though it's kind of just a picture <laughs> kind of lamest map ever but it's what's really cool is you can see all the awesome other product on the back it's cool and oh it shows atst walker being bombarded by logs amazing anyway you get that along with this too so Basically, this was literally, as it was bought, 1984. This is 
100% there, 100% not broken, and like brand new, except for the box is a little wrinkly. But besides that, I want to just show you, the. I got these figures out, figures sold separately, so you can kind of see the size. It's pretty massive. And then you can, I got Wicket. There's Wicket. I stand him on the drum. See, it's pretty big. And this is an indoor guy, I think. Well, Rebel Trooper on indoor. Let's be more specific. But do you got that guy? In the future, those will be for a sale as well. And I don't know what more I can say about this thing. Ewok Battle Wagon. I mean, even the name is epic. Ewok Battle Wagon. I mean, how could you not want to buy that? That is just truly amazing. A skull thing looking. It's so cool. This is like, this is pretty much the coolest Star Wars thing ever made. Period. Dot. In my eyes. It's, it's George Lucas at his most ridiculous. This is beyond the holiday special. This is the bomb. And that's it. So I guess I'm going to wrap it up. Of what else? Not only are we going to be selling these other figures, there's going to be a lot of these coming out. I had pretty much all of them. Um, and I'm liquidating my collections. for So um, I'm not getting any younger, obviously. So I'm. <laughs> it's time for me to pass it to the next person who's going to enjoy this collection. I always wanted to have this in a big display area. It never happened. So it all ended up just being in boxes for 38 years. And luckily that makes it so now we have some pristine examples that we can show. But a couple of other teaser things, which I think are the highlights of the collection, is here he is. Yak face. This is the bomb. This is the man. When I was buying my Star Wars collection, I saw this was the one I could never find. I worked at KB Toys, and so I got to open all the boxes first, and I could nab out the figures I needed and wanted. Never saw Yak Face, never saw Yak Face, never saw Yak Face. Then all of a sudden, one day, the box came in. Yak Face was in there. And it's in a weird packaging, because I guess it never really sold in the U.S. This looks like a Canadian packaging, or... Some kind of weird, because it's in three different languages. English, Spanish, French. Le Retour du Jedi. So, and it has that even neat. And on the back, there's like, they censored out two controversial figures right there, which 78, 79 are Paplu and Ewok Warrior. Two secret to let out. So... Anyway, teaser. That's going to be going to be coming out pretty soon. And of course, here is a creme de la creme still in package. This is still in package and mint, never been opened. Only issue I see with this besides being pristine, even the card isn't even, the card still has the whole, the little whole thing still in it. Um, the bubble on there, it's got a little dent in it, but that's the only thing I see wrong with this. This is like primo. And look at no UPC. Isn't that weird? Must be foreign. I don't know. Anyway, we got Darth Vader. Darth, Darth Vader figure. <laughs> Darth figure Vader. Right here. And it's the old one. It's a... He's got the plastic coat. Plastic cape, I mean. The, the vinyl, I guess it is, cape. This is a 1983 figure. And still mint in package. I... I can find nothing wrong with this. This is pretty flawless. Uh, the bubble is kind of turning kind of amber color, but that's that's it, which is odd. It's weird that some stay perfectly clear and some kind of turn amber with age. Anyway, it's got a KB toy price tag on it for 79 cents back in the day. So hopefully I'll get a little more than 79 cents for him when I go to pass him to the next man. But anyway, these are teasers. Didn't want to feature those, wanted to feature this. So that's that's about all I needed to say. So I guess when you see this on eBay, bid often and bid a lot. So thanks for watching.